Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this one's a strange one. I've never tried to do something like this, but uh, so we're going to throw a full Celtic cross for the Lambda variant of this COVID uh, virus. I don't know. Let's see what it says. Now, of course, I do so happen to have a few things to say about it. So I did a little research. Uh, I should say wiki search. And uh, let's see if I can make my computer bring up that page for me. So, yeah, so the SARS Lambda variant, known as C.37, is of the viruses. Ah, it is of the viruses that cause uh, COVID-19. So in 2020, it was first detected in Peru in December. Now in 2021, uh, on June 14th now, so December, now we're in June 14th, the World Health Organization, uh, WHO, named it the Lambda variant and de designated it as of interest. Uh, it is in at least 30 countries and likely more resistant to COVID-19 vaccines than other strains. By April, over 80% of new cases of COVID-19 in Peru were from the new variant. And now, June, the Lambda variant had begun to spread through South America and was detected in 29 countries, especially in Argentina, Chile, and, or Chile, and uh, Ecuador. Now, the WHO designated it as a variant of interest with 90.6% of new COVID-19 cases in Peru, specifically Arequipa, and 78.1% um, of new cases in Cusco, uh, Peru, and they were, of course, all Lambda. Then by July 6th, wow, uh, Australia, good grief, reported its first case in an overseas traveler who had been uh, in New South Wales uh, quarantine hotel. So he'd been in a New South Wales quarantine hotel in April, May, June, July. And then finally, why? Wow, so he had been in quarantine, and then later in July, it was detected. So finally, uh, for now, by July 19th, Texas reported their first case. Texas has reported their first case. So that's this crazy um, new variant, uh, the Lambda. Okay, so I got these great cards, and if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, then this will confirm it. So these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife and they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that, that he felt were appropriate for the for the interpretation uh, these cards were created uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, live and let die however uh dolly's um uh price was i guess too much so contract uh, negotiations broke down and then finally 10 years later by 1984 dolly completed the tarot deck 78 cards and had them published for the first time limited edition and now tostin has re um uh printed these cards in this amazing uh, box so when i ordered them i thought i'd get a box you know about this big and when this thing came in the mail I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. And once you get inside, you've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how, uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the cards. When I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book. Amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dali and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely, barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days, and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark. And I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you've got a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've gotten everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I'm so glad I got this. It was on a whim. 
Now the cards, look at how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful uh, foil looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On the Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the Magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on the uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but, uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I'd, I'd make these uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, <laughs> a reader might pull up in, the, in a reading. And... Um, and enjoy that. And then, like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. And then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the in the reading. So Salvador Dali, amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. Okay, so the Lambda variant. You know, I have a feeling that some of these might be inverted, and I just don't want it to happen. So I'm going to go through them one at a time. And, uh, well, you'll get to see them while I do this, but I just want to make sure I don't start out that way. I'm a little paranoid about it, and I don't want to tell you wrong things. If I tell you wrong things by accident, then I just have to trust that the universe has got my back on it. But if I haven't made every effort to do things correctly, then how can I expect somebody to look out for me or the universe to look out for me? So we'll go through these one at a time. You'll get the pleasure, I guess, of seeing each and every one of them. I don't know why, I just have this feeling that one of these is inverted. And I thought I saw it in the shuffle, I guess. But we'll keep on going. And probably my action here is going to cause one to be inverted. That would be my luck, wouldn't it? So these uh, Dolly cards are amazing, and not a single one was incorrect. So anyway, so the this variant, I mean, look how it's spread. I mean, it just is amazing. And I don't know if it's as much of a killer as the Delta one, but uh, it certainly is going to make people sick. And uh, every time this virus gets smarter, uh, we're in more peril. So let's just see, what can I ask about this new Lambda variant of this virus? Um, it seems to be able to slip in so easily. Uh, I guess we'll just do a, a full Celtic cross and just see what the cards say. I'll just read the cards, uh, whatever they are, and hopefully they'll put together uh, an answer uh, that, that kind of explains some of this. So let's try that. Let me cut the cards and spread them. And we're going to do six at once. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Right here for number six. Okay, so let's set these aside and see if we can find out what the signifier card is for this new variant. Okay, the signifier card is the Fool. Look at that. So yeah, it's a new journey. It's uh, starting out um, from uh, for a new uh, journey. So it's, I mean, it's absolutely appropriate. It couldn't be more appropriate. So this is the new variant is the Fool. It is starting on its new journey. Uh, the challenge to that Hopefully, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is the 10 of uh, Pentacles, which is having a lot of value. And so, I mean, you can look at this as telling that this uh, this new journey that it's on is just ripe with value. And it's funny that this includes the whole family uh, in this. This is usually known as kind of familial uh, value or wealth or and so, but in, and look at this thing. This thing even kind of looks like a virus if you kind of squint a little bit with all these stickers coming off of it and all these little virus things around. Ugh. So the challenge to this being a new journey is that it's so 
um, it's so much, it's so powerful. The basis of this reading then is, uh, oh gosh, what is this? So these are wands. This is one, two, three, four, five of wands. Oh yeah. The five of wands is a discourse and disharmony and confusion and uh, yeah, which is exactly what something like this needs uh, to make it uh, uh, successful. It needs there to be um, disharmony in how to deal with it. My goodness. And then the past of this uh, reading for this virus is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of cups. And the nine of cups is wishes fulfilled. And if I'm thinking that I'm making this reading uh, of the virus, then the self, you know, the virus's wishes are fulfilled in that it is such a spreader. And look at this card. It's amazing. It's actually got the face of a couple of weary old people in here and features this beautiful uh, sort of uh, younger uh, uh, to lower middle-aged woman uh, all dressed up and ready for a night on the, on a party. So wishes for the virus are fulfilled. It's a night out on, in, in for the virus, and it's going to include everyone. Wow. The sky of this reading, then, is uh, strength. Ugh. So again, it's uh, you know you have to attribute these cards to the virus, as I'm reading it for the virus. And again, we have a jumble of, of uh, whatever this was intended to be, but it just reminds me of virus now, and, uh, and just showing us that it is a strong, it does have force. My goodness. And you can see, and I don't know if you can see in this card, the face of this person really suffering uh, on that horse. Then the likely outcome for the first part of this reading, then, uh, is the Knight of Swords. So in this case, I'm going to think of the swords as uh, medicine and as, uh, you know, like an injection, so, you know, a, a truth or a justice against to the virus. And the fact that the likely outcome is the Knight of Swords. The Knight is the fighter of the Royal Suite. He's the one who's going to look at the head of this thing. This headdress, go Google that damn virus. It looks exactly like this headdress. Ugh. So the, uh, the likely outcome is that the Knight, so the fighter of the Royal Suite, is coming with justice. Okay, and so that's, that's medical, definitely. Wow. Um, so we're going to do the last four cards for the self, the very uh, basic self of this virus. Wow. I never thought I could do a reading on a virus. Um, so what is this? This is the Two of Pentacles. So we can see the Two of Pentacles being balanced uh, back and forth. And, um, and that's what the Two of Pentacles stands for, but it is value. So some value, some, you know, some real worth being juggled up in the air is what is the uh, self of this virus. So I could guess that, I guess I could say perhaps that um, it's, it's important, it's not important, it's important, it's, not, it's stronger, it's not strong. So maybe that kind of balancing. And the environment that that's in is going to be right here, one, two, three, four, five, six of cups. The Six of Cups traditionally speaks to thinking back to a, to a better time when things were in a, in, a, in a way that we wanted them to be. And uh, so the environment that this back and forth of this strength of this virus is, is that we want it, it's in a time where we're saying, no, we want to tame this thing and we want to get back to a place where we can uh, control uh, what's happening with this virus. We want this to be the way it was. Uh, the hopes and the fears of this for the virus is uh oh, this will be the fears if you ask me so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of cups and you know this is just as as wonderful as it could be so the 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 hopes i guess if this is talking about a cure i guess the hopes is that we do find all the compassion all the emotion all the that we need to um to make it through this i love this card as a matter of fact i mean look at the way this fella is just kind of kind of lusty looking onto this woman here and he's very fruitful with these apples here so yeah i would say that the hope is um a positive one okay and then the likely outcome of the whole thing then okay is the wheel of fortune so it's so many times it's exactly what it is we don't you know it's a spin of the wheel we have to see how we react to it how our governments around the world uh, defend themselves against us and how we all come together as as one people of the world to fight it and um, very interesting card to get as the final uh, outcome for the virus kind of like that well, if you'd asked me yesterday, I would have said, no, you can't do a reading on a virus, but I just did. So it started out pretty interesting uh, with the virus represented uh, by the, as the, the, the fool on it. Which way am I doing this? Uh, the fool on, a, in other words, the beginning of a journey. It's on the beginning of a journey, and it's off to a big, fast start. And because the uh, challenge to it was, in fact, the uh, 10, is it the 10? Uh, nine, ten, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, which is just, you know, involved the entire family. Familial wealth is what it typically talks about, but we're talking about the virus here. So it's got all the strength that it needs to infect all the people it wants to infect. And uh, the base of the reading was uh, Five of Wands, which is uh, disharmony and, um, and discourse. Uh, the past of it was the, let's see, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of cups, which is, um, you know, just its wishes fulfilled. So, but in the sky, uh, we had strength, which I think is speaking to the virus. So it's, it's just uh, outright uh, dominance. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing was the Knight of Swords. And I think this is where the page starts to turn. And I believe that Knight of Swords, that sword is representing medicine or, or justice or, or rules. And that knight is a fighter and he's bringing this justice to us. Uh, and then the self of that then um, comes to us in the uh, Two of Pentacles, which is just a balancing act between as strong as it can be and as weak as it can be. And the, it's in the environment of uh, the five, six of cups, which is, you know, we want things to be the way they were before we had the variant. The likely outcome of all of that was, uh, sadly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of cups. So, yeah, ten of cups is, uh, if we're thinking of a cure, then we're happy family. If we're thinking of the virus, it's just incredibly strong. But I think right now we're on the side of the cure in these last four cards. And with the likely outcome of the whole thing being uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and it's a crapshoot. We're just going to fight it, see if we have what it takes. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.